Hi guys and welcome to my channel. They'll be making some dupati, so let's go ahead and get started. These are all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. So go ahead and pour your milk into your pot and place it over a medium heat. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our cloves, cinnamon stick, and we're gonna go ahead and grate some freshly grated nutmeg. Once you grate your nutmeg into your milk, you're gonna go ahead and give it a quick whisk to incorporate all the spices with the milk. Then you're gonna add your vanilla extract and your almond extract as well as a can of carnation milk. Once you add your carnation milk, you can go ahead and add your sweetener of choice. I'm using white sugar, but you can use brown sugar or condensed milk as well. Go ahead and whisk it until the sugar is fully dissolved. Then add your flour and your baking powder to a bowl like so. Then you're going to go ahead and get your hand dirty and you're going to go ahead and mix to combine the flour and the baking powder together. Once you mix the flour and baking powder to combine, you're going to go ahead and add lukewarm water a little at a time. And what you're going to do is you're going to knead your flour by mixing it to form a loya. So then you're going to go ahead and form a loya once you knead your flour and baking powder together to form the loya. Once you form the loya, you're going to go ahead and roll out your loya on a floured dusted countertop and you're going to go ahead and form your loya into two loyas or two dough pieces. So the difference between this loya and a regular oil roti loya is a regular oil roti loya is oiled is actually rolled out and oiled with oil so that it can rest for about half an hour before you cook it and this one is just the flour and baking powder kneaded with some water so now that we have our loya ready we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to try to get two loya out of this or two wrong ball as you can see here and I'm gonna go ahead and roll out my loya on a flour dusted countertop and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into about eight long strips and then this long strips I will cut into small pieces and then place it into the boiling milk mixture that we have going on the stove guys don't forget that all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below for this recipe also guys, I know it's been a while that I haven't made any video due to some personal reason. Um, unfortunately, I will try to make a video hopefully every week if I can, but I will try my best to upload a video. I hope you guys do like this recipe and I hope you guys try it. This is something that I grew up with when I was growing up in Guyana is something we would make for a snack when you come home from school it's so good and everybody has their own way of making it but I tend to do different version of this so here I'm making my my strips I'm making about 10 to 12 uh, strips here and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the strips into small pieces I'm actually cutting it, uh, cutting the pieces on an angle and then I'm going to go ahead and just place it into the milk because the milk is already boiling and then I'm going to let this bad boy cook for about four to five minutes and it's done and then you can go ahead and serve it up. So as you can see here our milk looks amazing and now we're going to add the dupati pieces and we're going to let this bad boy cook for four to five minutes and then we're going to go ahead and serve it up guys please don't forget to subscribe or share and until next time guys please stay safe bye